Hi guys, Victoria Husit here with BK Consulting. And today I want to talk to you about Piro. It's January and it's a new beginning of the year, so it's a good time to think about Piro. And here in California and Los Angeles, you guys know that if you have a company, you cannot have a 1099 employees email. There is certain exceptions, but for majority of us, we have to have everybody on the W-2. And that's including you. If you are only one employee for your company, you should be on a W-2 as well. And that's besides all the criteria that IRS have, that if you have a S-Corp and you're the owner, you should be paying yourself a meaningful salary. That's just by law. But a new thing that happened in California last year that we eliminated 1099 employees. And now we have to have again everybody on the W-2. So if you are facing this, uh, moving yourself or maybe one employee that you had or one independent contractor that you had, now you want to move that independent contractor on W-2 and you're wondering what to do. So this video is for you. I will show where to start. There is a lot of steps you need to do. And again, I am not promoting uh, any company, but I personally use Intuit for all my accounting software. I use Intuit for QuickBooks. I use Intuit for um, running payroll. And I also use Intuit for preparing 10 maintenance whenever it's needed. But again, there is a ton of uh, payroll providers out there, so you can find whichever one is good for you. It's just I am sharing, guys, with you what I've been using and uh, what product I am familiar with. But before you even start putting your employees on the W-2 and actually running payroll, you need to create an employer EDD account. And this video will walk you through how to do that. So let's start. Uh, edd.ca.gov website. You will want to click on Employer Login. Once you at the Employer Login screen, you will click on Login into eServices for Business. And I already have my login information. So if you don't have one, you will have to create one. But since I have, and all my clients, uh, under my one account. So um, you will click on register a new account and answer questions. So let's do this together. Reason for application. You either hired employees, it's a new business, purchased a business or something else. In our case, we hired employees. And you click next. Then you select the type of employer and you will pick commercial. You can read through that, but on average standard, you probably a commercial. And then you will pick what type of organization you are. Again, majority of you guys would be either LLC, LLC, individual sole proprietorship, corporation, maybe something else, but that's average standard option. So in my case, the company I want to set up is LLC. Now there is a question. Wage information. Did you pay wages in the prior quarter or in the current quarter? And for me, it would be current quarter. I haven't paid the salary yet. And do you have employees working in California? Yes. The next question is select the responsible party. And it would be an officer. Here you would enter select the title, managing member, member, president, secretary, trustee, vice president, whatever the title is. So let's put chief executive officer. Then ID type, you would put the social security. You enter social security, you would enter first name, last name, date of birth, and California driver license. After you enter all the personal information, you would enter Next, and get to the screen. Date of ownership began operating. You would be put a date when this ownership began to operating and 
previous Kefina principal owner registered with EDD. So yes or no. And then you would press next. On this screen, you would enter select your industry activity and describe product or service. What do you do? On a drop down menu, you would look and pick what's close to what you do and the description actually what you do. The legal name of organization, DBA, if you have. Are you registered with California Secretary of State? You would put your ID and do you have a federal employer identification number? Is there and then you would click next. And now you would talk about location information. So you would put your address where your company is registered. On this following screen, you would enter your phone number, your business email, and if you want to allow email contact and communication. Next screen would be taxpayer's representative contact information. If you want to allow to somebody to communicate with uh, EDD on your behalf, you will also need to submit power of attorney declaration. On the next screen, you would select a UFRS payroll agent. No, in our case, and does this business use a professional system to keep in accounting for payroll reporting? And in our case, it's no, because the owner will do it himself. And now register for employer tax account number. You would enter your personal information and click submit. And once you submit, you're going to get the confirmation and just wait for the email with notification that your employer account is created. Once you have your employer account created, then you can go into it and see what is your percentage, how much you need to play into unemployment, and how much you need to pay into training. But the most important, you will have your employer EDD number so you can set up your California payroll. I hope this was useful information and uh, you see it's pretty easy. So don't be afraid, set up an account and it's very, very user friendly. And if you ever get stuck, you can always call the support line and they will absolutely help you. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe.